All right, John. So how does one use vSAN with blades? So blade form factors on face value are kind of challenging. Um, you don't want to, you know, you can try to put use them with vSAN, but often they don't have very many drive bays. Um, and I know there's some newer, fancier, kinetic, compostable, you know, hardware out there that has more drive base. And that's, those are fine. And, you know, people definitely use this for VCM, but I'm talking your typical blade that's got two drive base. Yes, you can put a disc group on it, but it's not going to really great, give you great performance or, you know, handle failures as well. So really what I'm seeing with blades is most people, blades are a sunk investment. People aren't going out and buying new blades. In fact, uh, blade market shares down, I think 18% year over year. Uh, Lenovo has announced they're abandoning the blade market, HP, there's no more C7000s. This, blades are kind of their old hat, but you still have them in your data center and they're still, they're still working, right? So you want to use them. You want to, it's really about investment protection here. So what you can do is use HCI Mesh. And HCI Mesh with 7.8.2 allows you to have compute only clusters. So you can go get some great rack servers, get some of those uh, you know, C-series M240s, get some R740s, get some DL380s, get some nice 2U servers full of drives, build a vSAN cluster that's storage kind of heavy, so to speak, and then go feed all those compute blades using HCI Mesh. They can mount that vSAN data store. And there's a couple of things to think about. Now you can seamlessly vMotion between the different clusters that are consuming that same vSAN data store. Um, the, that compute only cluster actually doesn't need to be licensed for vSAN. Uh, so there's some potential kind of cost synergies mm -hmm. there. And in cases to where maybe you've got very asymmetric compute needs, uh, maybe you've got a, a workload that's just really compute heavy, you need 50 hosts worth of compute, but you only need 10 or 12 worth of storage, you can, you can use that. So build that 10 or 12 node vSAN cluster and then go attach those 50 compute blades to it and you can leverage that asset. So I know not everyone's re not everyone's currently, maybe the storage is up for renewal right now. And so you need some new storage offense and you need a little bit of compute, but you don't need that much and you want to leverage that investment and your, your blades have got another 24 months of support okay, let's, let's not waste money or let's not force you to re refresh everything at the same time. I don't think anyone wants anyone to come in and say, throw everything away and burn your blades. Well, okay, you can, you can sweat down that asset, you can use them. Yeah, what a great way to approach that use of um, uh, taking advantage of those existing assets that you've already invested heavily in. We know those, you know, those blade enclosures, let alone the servers themselves, uh, uh, were usually very expensive, but what a great way to approach that. While you can then uh, look at all of your uh, purchasing plans moving forward as you know maybe something a little bit more traditional, a two U rack mounted server. Because certainly, I think now the writing's on the wall for that sort of form factor. If if you're really looking at those, uh, you, you know those blades, a traditional blade, um, you may want to revisit that a little bit. So.